Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another episode of Moneyball today. Two games, the EFL Cup and Blackpool. But before we get into that, make sure you check out last episode. That'll be up in the card right now to see who we brought in and who left on the transfers. Secondly, is an update about the few saves uh, just to kind of give you an update. So this uh, season of Moneyball, we will run through to get through really quickly. It's League One. We've already seen a season in League One. We don't want to see two. Um, following that then, this will take the back seat when the West Derby Warriors save launches in just two weeks time. Um, the Valencia save will become our stream save when that finishes next week um, and this will probably go to about two videos a week before this eventually becomes a stream save when the Valencia one's done so you kind of see the cycle um, but without any further ado let's get into the Middlesbrough game today so then today if you haven't seen last episode I obviously advise you to go do that right now I'll wait Wonderful, back. Okay, so last episode was the highlights of the transfers, the players we brought in, the players that left. There was quite a few, quite a lot of um, new faces, quite a lot of faces going. Um, we're about to get ready in kickoff the season. Um, first game is Middlesbrough. We have a look at our schedule. Uh, the first game we're going to be taking on is in the Carabao Cup first round. We're taking on uh, Middlesbrough there, and then we'll play Blackpool as well. So then the team to take on Middlesbrough is one of relative familiarity uh, the certainly the back five which is unchanged from last season garbert pierre williams little and mitchell in midfield we've got vela and wilson and then caton on the right the only change a new face coming into the start 11 is joe pritchard who we picked up from i believe was it brentford Atkinson stanley um, after he got 11 assists uh, 11 assists last season so this is the team we're going for we're going for a very defensive in fact we'll, we'll go with defensive for now uh, counter attack we know it. We, it it got us up from last to the playoffs near or challenging the playoffs last season um, so hopefully you can do the same for us this season i have also changed the skin in case you're wondering why it looks a little bit different this is the tcs skin there'll be a link in the description for that if you want to help go ahead and grab it and middlesbrough have a chance from his cor corners harry puts the ball in and it's just about dealt with by mitchell and little and now cummings breaks he's got two men in support is he going to go all the way he is and he just about misses Positive signs though, a nice, good, strong chant early on, as we're going to maybe just make a few changes to this in fact. And it's half time, nil nil. Um, they had a really good chance at the end of the first half, but other than that, I'm going to tell them that I'm pleased and for them to keep it up because we are away from home to, I believe, a championship side? Are Middlesbrough in the championship? I don't know. I think they are um, in this rendition. As we're underway for the second half, hopefully we can have a goal and steal it so just past the hour mark and there's a chance for middlesbrough it's almost as if i'm psychic ball goes in mark little deals with it taylor pick up picks up the loose ball though out to galloway into collins collins beats his man brilliantly ball goes in but it's cleared and the highlights still go in as middlesbrough through and Rashawn williams picks it up pritchard plays it long but the sustained attack as collins plays it into lindo forward to follow in walker what a goal one nil middlesbrough could not clear our lines and i've just skipped the highlight back then but we couldn't clear our lines and the ball is fired in from range and it's just a little frustrating and in response to that then we're going to make a change um i think we're going to bring off Odoa or doe for mcmanus um and i think i'm going to bring off charlie caton for raquel pike um and then we're going to drop and the wilson we're going to drop deeper I play like an uh, asymmetric diamond sort of shape. In fact, I think Vela can play this attacking midfield role um, fairly well. But I want to advance playmaker because we want someone who will drop a little bit. As We've got 20 minutes left. Hopefully we can get an equaliser and stay in the game. So we've made our final substitution. Then we've brought off um, Joe Pritchard for Dave Edwards. Dave Edwards is going to play um, as a boxer box on that left hand side and move Pike into the striker position just just desperately going to try push for a goal really as we put Luke Garbett on wing back uh, on defend as Middlesbrough on the attack here can they seal a win as Falarin plays it back to Wood into Lindo to Taylor Taylor goes for goal and just about save from Johnny Mitchell um, and I think I think this is probably going to slip through our hands as the corner goes in it's cleared but Collins picks up the second ball out to Harrop Harrop puts a ball in, it's clear by Rashawn Williams, and McManus can break for Shrewsbury now. Can he find some quality ball into the middle? He's down this left-hand side, he fires it straight at his man. It's going to be a throw-in. And nothing will come over that highlight. And it's fired over. I think that'll probably be that. Because we've got a highlight straight from the goal kick. 
Mark Little plays a ball over the top. Rickel Pikes through here. It's not going to count. It's offside. Oh, that's annoying. And now Middlesbrough are going to attack. We've cut this one out and Cummings isn't going to get there. Oh, that is heartbreaking. Collins. Yeah. So then, full time, 1 0 to Middlesbrough is the final score. Disappointing, but without any further ado, we're going to get right into the Blackpool game and not really analyse this too much. So we are back and ready to take on Blackpool. As I said, we were going to waste no time and get right into it. As you can see, we have done just that. We are ready to take them on. This is the team we are running with. A few changes from the last game. Mazowski comes back in. Obviously, he couldn't play in the EFL Cup because that's part of his loan deal. I didn't realise that, and it's slightly annoying. But Pritchard stays in. Uh, Edwards comes in for Vela. Wilson moves off to the right. So we're just... Oops, Daisy. So we're just going to put him on deep line playmaker, and Edwards can go on a ball-winning midfield. Actually... Give him a box box. Um, McManus comes in for a day as well because he's been shocking. Cummings remains, retains his place, but I'm thinking about dropping him soon because he's been a bit poor. But we're going to waste no more time and get right into the match. So then we are underway against Blackpool, who I believe um, were relegated from the Championship last season, hence why they are now in League One. But we've got a chance nice early on. As Garbutt whips in the corner, Pritchard picks up the loose ball out to David Edwards, to Wilson, to McManus, Edwards. I don't really know what that was, but. That's it. I think, yeah, as I said, Blackpool, I think, were relegated last season. So it could provide a tough test. As we're just going to slow this down a little bit. Um, certainly one that we're not looking forward to. We struggled against Middlesbrough as Mazlowski is just dragging us forward here. Pulls it back to Pritchard, who had some really good numbers. Wilson, again, another player who we brought in last year. Has been pretty good in the first six months. McManus is through. McManus scores and then gets our first league goal this season. He did have a bit of a tough time getting started last season, um, but we stuck with him, gave him a few more chances in pre-season, he did well in pre-season, um, and he's got his first goal of the season here after a brilliant ball from Dave Edwards, slots it in at the near post, 1-0 Shrewsbury. Garbutt picks that up brilliantly, Pritchard, and we'll be excited to see how he does this season, whether he can replace the Paul Glatzel, who went back to Liverpool, obviously, after his loan spell last season. Sean Williams looks for Cummings, but no, I'm going to find him with that as Walsh gets to clear his Hamilton. He's caused us some trouble so far in this first half, and he's done a... F I mean, Ian Wilson would not put a tackle in for some reason there. And that is an absolute screamer from CJ Hamilton. You can see he just dances around Wilson there. And fires it past Johnny Mitchell into the top corner. It's 1-1. One, one. Not what we wanted. Turn half-time. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. Probably lucky to be 1-1 one, one maybe, according to XG, and the stats haven't been really great for us. I'm going to get in the dressing room and I'm going to say we're not doing badly. If everyone continues, it'll be okay, and I'm going to tell them there's a lot more to come from them. Give them some motivation. As we get underway for the second half then, hopefully we can start the season off with a win. Dave Edwards has picked up an injury. It's only a, a slight one, but it's a groin one, so I don't want him to aggravate that. So we're going to come off for Vela, and Vela is going to play as the Mitzala on support. Um, just 10 minutes into the second half is not really what we want. So then we're past the hour mark, it's still 1-1, one, one. not really much has happened of um, note. Blackpool have steadied, steadily uh, pushed some pressure on us as we look to build from the back with Rashawn Williams, whose long balls have not been great today. He plays out a little. Finds Mislavski, who has been a bit quieter than usual, and once again Rashawn Williams gives the ball away. And Hamilton, the goal scorer, is through on goal, and it's a great save from Johnny Mitchell. But Ian Wilson is looking knackered, so he's going to come off. We're going to replace him with Barry Maguire, who can play in that defensive midfield. And in fact, I'm going to do this. And Pritchard can come off for a cow pack. So that's the third season substitution. We brought Maguire on for Wilson. Um, Vela is going to be our main. Um, Attacking outlet in the midfield. Pike is going to play as an inside forward on that left hand side. Mazowski on the right um, as a winger and see if that can do something for us. Blackpool have got a chance here with Hamilton. Virtue puts the ball in, it's cleared. We've got all of our bodies at the back now trying to desperately hold on to this point. As Hamilton is through and he scored a second, I haven't really got much to say. Completely disorganised from the defence and Hamilton, that ball just, that should not be happening. 
as a free kick for Blackpool. Are they going to make it three? They are. Okay. Um, some really poor performances. Rashawn Williams on a 6.2. Just the full time then, 3-1. I'm going to bollock them because that was, that was pathetic. You can see there the stats did not... 60% possession, three shots, that is just ridiculous. So then, not how we wanted to start the season with two losses. Um, going forward then, I'll probably come back um, sometime in October, towards the end of September, probably the Plymouth game around there. See if we can pick up our form and move ourselves off the table a little bit. As you can see, after those that result, we are... Uh, languishing right at the bottom but only one game played so it's not to the end of the world um, as well as being knocked out of the FA Cup not ideal but it's okay if you did enjoy that episode then please do leave a like hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get notified when new videos go live every single day normally at 4 p.m but I'm thinking of changing them to 12 in noon we'll see how that goes over the next week um, don't forget to check the links in the description for the club discord the club save Twitter, all of that jazz. Um, follow me on Twitch. I do start, will start streaming every Tuesday and Thursdays from next week. Other than that, then, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.